Hello, welcome to the video to learn how to delete a specific return in CCH Pro System FX Tax. This video will cover how to delete a specific return using Office Manager. This means that using these steps, you will be able to delete a specific year or specific version of a return. It is strongly recommended that you have a backup of your client data before deleting a return. After deleting a return, there is no undo option. The only way to restore a deleted return is to restore it from backup. We have other knowledge base articles and videos that go over how to delete an entire client or specific pro forma files. If you need to learn more about those processes, pause this video and go to the URLs listed on your screen. Go ahead and open Office Manager if you do not already have it open. When it opens, click on Delete Client Data. Because this video covers how to delete a specific year or specific version of a return, select All Tax Return Data and click OK. In this window, you are given several choices to select from to bring up a pick list of returns to delete. No matter which option you select in this window, the following window will simply be a pick list of returns. In the Tax Year field, you can select the year of returns that you want to show up in the pick list in the following window. Selecting All Tax Returns will bring up a pick list of returns for the year selected above. Selecting Completed Tax Returns will bring up a pick list of returns with a status of Completed for the year selected above. Selecting Specific Client will allow you to type in a client ID or name in the following window to search for returns for a specific client. Selecting Customized List will allow you to narrow down your return pick list by tax product, office group, or preparer. Regardless of the option that you select, you will receive a return pick list in the following window. I am going to select All Tax Returns in this video. A pick list of all of my returns appears in the top returns window. The year and the tax product are listed first. Then the client ID is listed and the return version is listed last. So this top return is a 2012 individual return. The client ID is Wallace underscore M and it is version 1. Version 2 of the return is listed below it. I want to add the returns that I want to delete to the bottom selected window. I can do this by selecting the return that I want to delete and then clicking Add. I can select multiple returns at the same time by holding down the control key on my keyboard while selecting returns. Then clicking Add adds the selected returns to the selected window at the bottom. I can also use the Add All button to add all of the returns listed in the Returns window to the selected window. If I add a return to the selected window at the bottom that I do not want to delete, I can select it and click Remove. That will move it back up to the Returns window. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to delete the 2012 version 2 return for Michelle Wallace and the 2013 version 1 return for Deborah Smith. Once I have added the returns to the selected window that I want to delete, and double checked the tax year, client ID, and return version to make sure that only what I want to delete has been added to the selected window, I will click OK. The program will ask me to confirm that I really want to delete those returns, and I will click Yes. At this point, the returns have been deleted. Thank you for watching the video on how to delete a specific year and version of a return. To view other knowledge base articles related to this subject, Please visit us at support.cch.com and search our knowledge base for these titles or the article numbers listed below them. Thank you.